Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this lesson, we are going to talk about the mobility of DNA between microorganisms, especially bacteria. Uh, as we know that microorganisms can exchange genetic material between themselves, and this leads to uh, very different fields, very different topics, very different problems that can arise in the environment. However, we can also use these uh, mechanisms for our benefit in biotechnology as well. Now, uh, we all know that DNA can be moved between uh, different microorganisms, between bacteria. Uh, if, we, if we look at two major uh, modes of uh, DNA transfer between in bacteria, that can, one can be uh, the vertical gene transfer, that is the, from the parents to the offspring. The other is horizontal gene transfer, which is the transfer of DNA between bacteria, which are not parent and offspring. And this horizontal gene transfer is of major concern uh, in microbiology and in biotechnology. There can be three modes of horizontal gene transfer. One is conjugation, that is by physical contact between bacterial cells, between microbial cells. The other one is transduction, that is through uh, viruses, through bacteriophages, the viruses that eat, that infect bacteria. When they do so, uh, they lead to the lysis of the bacteria, the destruction of the bacteria, and when those viruses infect other bacteria, during this process, they can transfer the DNA of one bacteria to another bacteria. The third one is transformation. That is a bacteria, bacterial cell can pick up a foreign DNA molecule present in its environment and that the DNA molecule can be used for recombination purposes. So you can see here there are major three mechanisms of horizontal gene transfer. Now uh, mostly uh, the gene transfer, especially the conjugation, conjugal gene transfer that happens due to the transfer of plasmids. These are uh, extra chromosomal DNA elements, mostly circular, found in bacteria and some other microorganisms as well. Now the rearrangement of genomic material within an organism stimulated by the presence of transposons. Transposons are now uh, another category of uh, mobile DNA elements. These are basically jumping genes. These can move from one point to another uh, within the same DNA molecule and across the DNA molecules as well. And when they do so, they transfer the genes that they are carrying. Moreover, uh, they can rearrange uh, the genetic material of the target site as well. They move from one point to another and reinsert into a second site. Insertion may be into a specific site or, or random. When the transposer moves from one point to another point, then they can also targeted the movement that I have to go to this point or they can insert it randomly to any point that I have to go to this point. Uh, Transposons uh, mostly carry certain genes, especially antibiotic resistant genes. So when they will move, they will transfer those genes along with them. Now these have evolution process, uh, many evolution processes occurs principally by insertion and deletion of genomes caused by such activities. Evolution jo bhi ho rahi hai, especially in microorganisms mein, uh, or, and in other organisms as well, us mein kaha jata hai ki in transposons ka bohut bada haath hai. Jab bhi move karte hai, ek point se dousay point mein, uh, these cause rearrangement of the genes, rearrangement of the genome, and therefore they create new combination of genes leading to new species. Now such activities can also lead to rearrangement of existing structural genes into a different region of the genome. As we just discussed, uh, when transposons move from one point to another, they cause rearrangement of the target site. New combination of genes can be created, even new genes can be created. These genes then therefore operate under different parameters, thus affecting the gene regulation. If a transposon has taken a gene with one gene, so where it will go, हो सकता है कि वो अब एक नए रेगुलेटेड रीजन के अंडर आ जाए उसके कंट्रोल में आ जाए पहले वो किसी और प्रमोटर के साथ कंट्रोल हो रहा था ट्रांसक्राइब हो रहा था अब वो जिस जगह पे गया है वहां पे कोई और प्रमोटर है तो अब वो डिफरेंट तरीके से ट्रांसक्राइब होगा मे बी उसका एक्सप्रेशन ज्यादा हो जाए मे बी कम हो जाए इट डिपेंड्स वो किस साइड पे जाके इंसर्ट हुआ है फॉर एग्जांपल वायरसेस व्हिच इंफेक्ट अ वाइड होस्ट रेंज सच एज सम रेट्रोवायरसेस द अल्फाफा मोजैक वायरस एंड द टी आई प्लाज्मिड ऑफ एग्रोबैक्टीरियम ट्यूमिफिशंस uh, these are examples that can cause cause much rearrangement of the genome. Now, retroviruses, as we all know, they are basically RNA uh, viruses, and they replicate through double stranded DNA intermediate, and thus can integrate into the host cell genome. So, retroviruses are much known for to cause certain uh, genome rearrangement. Uh, now, the RNA viruses uh, tend to be more susceptible to mutation than DNA viruses. Why so? Because RNA is a much less stable molecule as compared to DNA. So uh, it is more prone to mutation, jaldi mutations mein aajati hai. So wo viruses, uh, jinka genetic 
मटीरियल आर ने बेस है और दोज आर मोर प्रोन टू म्यूटेशन उनमें म्यूटेशन जल्दी आएगी और अगर म्यूटेशन जल्दी आ रही है तो वो वायरसेस जल्दी इवॉल्व होते हैं जल्दी चेंज होते हैं देट कैन लीड टू सर्टन प्रॉब्लम्स बट देट आल्सो ऑफर्स वाइल्ड वाइड फील्ड ऑफ स्टडी इन बायोटेक्नोलॉजी नाउ दे एग्जिस्ट अ ब्लर डिस्टिंगशन बिटवीन क्रोमोजोमल एंड एक्स्ट्रा क्रोमोजोमल एलिमेंट्स द डी एन ए विच इज ट्रांसफर बिटवीन बैक्टीरिया बिटवीन माइक्रो ऑर्गेजम दैट कैन बी एक्स्ट्रा क्रोमोजोमल डी एन ए लाइक प्लाजमिट और इट कैन बी क्रोमोजोमल डी एन ए एज वेल समाइम्स प्लाजमिट कैन ऑल्सो ट्रांसफर क्रोमोजोमल डी एन ए बिटवीन द बैक्टीरिया वायरस इज ऑल्सो नॉन टू ट्रांसफर क्रोमोजोमल डी एन ए बिटवीन द बैक्टीरिया सो बोथ एक्सचेंजेस कैन हैपन ऑफ प्लाजमिट एज वेल एज ऑफ क्रोमोजोमल डी एन ए सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन विच डी एन ए हैज बीन ट्रांसफर द रिसिपियन बैक्टीरिया विल गेन दैट काइंड ऑफ एबिलिटी नो ऑर्गेजम लिव इन ट्रू जेनेटिक आइसोलेशन एज लॉन्ग एज इट इज सबल टू एटलीस्ट वन ऑफ द एक्स्ट्रा क्रोमोजोमल एलिमेंट्स नाउ एज लॉन्ग एज देर इज जेनेटिक एक्सचेंज आ लिविंग सेल स्पेशल बैक्टीरियम कैन नॉट बी जेनेटिकली आइसोलेटेड वो हमेशा एक दूसरे से जीन्स एक्सचेंज करते रहते हैं थ्रू ऑल दीज डिफरेंट मैकेजम्स वी जस्ट डिस्कस्ड एंड वेन दे डू दैट दे बिकम मोर दे बिकम बेटर and more suited to the environments because they now they have new genes new combination of genes now they are much stronger and they can they have more ability to survive in that environment all these uh, mechanisms that lead to mobility of dna between bacteria between microorganisms uh, these hold importance much importance in biotechnology we can use these mechanisms to create more powerful bacteria uh, which can be more suitable tools to remediate different uh, environmental sites and to solve many other environmental problems this was about mobility of dna